Go ahead. What are your conditions? It's simple. I want you to leave Jun Yuxuan. Be with me. Accepting my proposal is actually a win-win choice for Mr. Gu, isn't it? We can not only keep the secret, but also we'll get all the support of TB Group and TB Magazine. To me, feelings can't be traded. If you want to embarrass me with this, I can only do as you wish. Boring. I knew you would say that. I just can't accept it. What if you choose me? But if you really choose me, I might look down on you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just testing you from the beginning. I am as proud as you. Lin Wanning's style has never changed since childhood. Not necessarily. Wu Yancheng. No matter from family, education, or personal achievements, I'm good enough. Since young, I think only you deserve me. And only I deserve you. But I didn't expect you were so tasteless that you didn't fall in love with me. It's beyond my expectation. Now everyone knows that you rejected me. You made me a joke. I'm sorry. This meal is on you. Consider it as an apology. From now on, we're friends. Wanning, when your eyes no longer follow me, you will find your own happiness. I will. I wish you and Jun Yushuan happy forever. What are you looking at? Haven't you seen anyone cry? Yes. I've never seen anyone crying so beautifully. Let's go, Mrs. Lin. I'll send you home. Many people must be laughing at me now. I don't want to go home. Where do you want to go? I'll go with you. I want to indulge myself. Do you know why I like Guyan Sheng? Because he is excellent. Only he deserves such an excellent me. And we are a match. Everyone said we were a perfect match. Everyone says we are a perfect couple. Tell me. How could he not like me? Did I do anything wrong? Miss Lin, stop drinking. Leave me alone. You are good in everything. I think you know taste. Yes. You are right. Guyan Ching has no taste. You know, he would rather let me expose the secret that he can't carve than be with me. A secret that can't be carved?
I saw Gu Yancheng's diagnosis from my aunt. It clearly states that Gu Yancheng can no longer carve. But I promised him to keep his secret. So I only told you? Don't tell others. Got it? Okay, I'll keep it a secret for you. By the way, Miss Lin, I need to go to the toilet. Are you all right by yourself? Hello. Can we do an interview? Who is it? I'm a reporter from Weekly Magazine. I want to interview you. Is it true that Gu Yanshen can't carve anymore? None of your business. Go away. Just an interview. Please say something. Say something! Say something! Let go of me. Please don't go. Let go of me! Who are you? I'm a reporter. What's wrong with an interview? Get lost or I'll call the police. Are you okay? Who is that? He seems to be a reporter and wants to interview me. Lunatic. Reporter. Go, Miss Lin. Where are we going? Next round? Let's go somewhere else. It's not safe here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Be careful. Let's go. I didn't inherit a good drinking capacity. And just one cup can make me drunk. You must drink, or I'll kick you out. Hurry up! That's more like it. How is it? Were you shocked by my singing? Yes. Say some objective opinions. The skill of singing is ordinary among Miss Lin's talents. Are you... praising me? Of course I'm praising you. It doesn't sound like it. Why don't you think I can't sing well? Let me sing another song for you. Listen carefully. Miss Lin, you must be tired. Would you like some water to moisten your throat? No. I sing with my abdominal voice. I won't be tired. Give it to me. Mrs. Lin. Let go! Let go. Mrs. Lin. Let go. Give it to me. If you don't let go, I'll bite you. How dare you? There's nothing I dare not do. Do you know I'm a person who takes revenge? If you bite me like this, I will revenge. It's no big deal. Here. All right. We're even now. It's late. I should go home. Are you not going to sing? No. Not bad. 
daughter. You scared me to death in the middle of the night. How is it, Dad? Is it pretty? It's not pretty. Such a big mouth. How can you say that to your beautiful and lovely daughter? It depends on the timing. If you go on a blind date, you'll be cute and beautiful. But if you are single and enjoy yourself here, that's scary. Let me ask you something, Aunt Lee's nephew. Will you see him or not? No. Daughter, are you in love? Dad, I will tell you if I am in love. Let me tell you. I won't object to your relationship with anyone, but it can't be that Gu Yancheng. Why? Actually, he. It's quite nice. You don't understand. The sixth sense of an old man is the most accurate. I thought he was unreliable. Your sixth sense? I think you have a typical symptom of marriage syndrome. Any father, whenever a man approaches his daughter, will definitely think this man is up to something. Of course. I. All right. All right. Let's go. I'm going to sleep. I'll drink milk. Let's go. Go to sleep. Okay. Good night. I'll give you a good night kiss. See you in my dream. We've kissed. See you in the dream. Are you at home or at the flower shop? Let's eat together. I'm home. Are you not feeling well? No, I just have a stomach ache. Stomach ache? Stomach ache? Do you have medicine at home? Is your father here? Let me take you to the hospital. My dad went out. It's fine. Maybe I did too much exercise yesterday? I just need rest today. No way. You have to go to the hospital. I'll be right there. No need. Maybe I exercised too much yesterday. I just need some rest at home and have some warm water. Okay, have some warm water. Why does he ask me to drink warm water, as I said? I'm angry. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Who is it? I'm here. Why are you here? How can I not come when you're like this? You hung up on me so quickly just now. I thought you left me alone. Are you angry? Of course. I was going to ignore you. How about now? Are you going to talk to me? I'm not an unreasonable person. This time I wronged you. Here, take the medicine. Daughter, open the door for your father. Hurry. Yuxuan, hurry up. I take the food. Come with
with me. Yuxuan. Yuxuan. Is everything okay? Yuxuan. Stay here and keep quiet. Okay. Open the door. Coming, Dad. The door is going to break. Why didn't you open the door? What happened? Are you okay? I just changed my clothes. Did you just wake up? You slept a lot. Your dad's hand hurts. Oh no. I forgot to put it in the fridge last night. What a waste. Dad? I'm not feeling well today. How about you cook today? How many times have I told you? You need to eat breakfast. You'll get guts. You never listen. Fine. I'll cook for you. Your father is a slave for you. You are the best dad in the world. Go and have a rest. Let's go. Come with me. Keep your voice down. Let's go. Yuxuan. Is the fish steamed? Or braised? Hello, Mr. Shan. Dad, this is a misunderstanding. Stop. I'm not good. Make it clear. Go back. If you don't explain it clearly, I'll braise you. Stand there, hands apart. Explain it. What happened? Dad? You're giving me a small gift? Dad? Stay here. You're good at flattering people. Why is it this? What is this? This? How could it be this? Young man, what medicine do you want? I... hello. I want the medicine that the woman used. What medicine specifically? Well... She exercised too much yesterday. My girlfriend doesn't feel well in the morning. Why are you so shy? I've been there before. I know what you want. Do you want something better or ordinary? The best. The best. Okay, wait a moment. Mr. Zun, that's what happened. Yuxuan. It's fine that you're dating him secretly, but why did you have a baby? I... Say something. Explain it to me. All right, stop talking. Are you a man? A man should be responsible. Explain it to me. Mr. Zun, I really... Like Yuxuan. He asked you to explain the medicine, not to explain this? I told you that you can't be in love with him. You can say that. You're a man. What should you do next? Yuxuan, listen. You must give birth when you're pregnant. You're not married yet, are you? Let me finish. You have to think about it quickly. The child needs to register. No, Dad, you really misunderstood. I'm not pregnant. I'm still in my period today. Why did you buy this? Because I had a stomachache today, and he went to buy medicine for me, but he bought the wrong one. It was a mistake. I misunderstood you? No. You have a stomachache. And why did he buy medicine for you? 
Why did you hide him secretly? He also says he likes you. Aren't you two dating? Yes, Dad. He is my boyfriend. You... you just told me. You said you wouldn't date behind my back. You said you were dating. You should tell me. You won't hide it from me. It's said that a married daughter won't come bake home. My daughter is on other side before she gets married. Dad, don't be sad. I didn't mean to hide it from you. It's because you had a bad impression of him. I thought of telling you after he comes here to please you. You are my dad. You are my closest person in this world. How could I be on his side? Right? Uncle. I'm sorry for letting you know our relationship in this way. But don't worry. I'm sincere to Yushuan. Besides, I treat her not only as my girlfriend, but also my fiancé. Tell me the truth. Are you pregnant? I'm really not, Dad. You really like him? Since you love each other. I'm not a villain who broke up a couple. But you have to promise me one thing. Mr. Zun, go ahead. I've raised her up. You have to be good to her. You have to love her and take care of her. Don't bully her. I don't care about your family background. If you dare to bully her, I'll risk my life to fight with you. Mr. Zun, don't worry. I'll only let her bully me. That's more like it. Mr. Zun, if there's nothing else, if it's okay, I'll go first. Stop! Dad! You said it's okay. We're family. Don't mention it. Let's have a meal. Wait a moment. Is the fish steamed or braised? Morning, Miss Lynn. It was an accident. It was just an accident. It's nothing. I'm not afraid. Come in. What are you doing here? Don't you have work to do? I'm here to work. I need you to confirm some photos. Put them here. I've seen the photos, they're all available. Miss Lynn, are you avoiding me? Why should I? That's good. I thought you were afraid of me. I'm afraid of you. Get back to work. Wait. What? Anything else, Miss Lynn?
I'm warning you. Don't tell anyone anything. Which thing? Is it about Mrs. Lynn's breakup? Or is it about Mrs. Lynn being drunk and telling stories? Or is it about the fact that you can't sing well? Or is it the fact that you bit me and I bit you? Nothing can be said. Okay, my CEO. What should I do? Yuxuan, you don't have to see me off. Both of you are busy. You finally have a day off. The driver is also tired. You don't have to see me off. I'll take a bus and go back. Mr. Zun, I've arranged a car for you. Just get in the car. We're family. Dad, it's hard for you to take the bus with so much things. Okay. Don't forget your dad after you fall in love. Dad, how could I forget you? You can stay with me more. If I stay here too long? How can you date? I know this. Take care of yourself. And you, take care of her. Mr. Zun, don't worry. All right, you don't have to see me off. Go back. Thank you, sir. Dad, call me when you go home. I will call you. Go back now. Goodbye, Uncle. Honey, our daughter has grown up. She has a good boyfriend. Don't worry. I'm infected by him. Am I also OCD? Are you talking about me? Why are you walking so quietly? Like a ghost. I think you are guilty. I'm not. No. What if Uncle Dew sees us? Uncle Dew is off work. All I want now is just you. Fine. You're right. I'm guilty. There's a pervert. Yuxuan. Did you know? How much I missed you. During these time, you are not with me. I miss you so much. Good morning, Mr. Gu. I'm waiting for you for breakfast. Contact all departments. Find a solution now. We must find a suitable replacement. Okay, Mrs. Lin, we'll contact right away. Man, what's wrong? What happened? Don't mention it. The cover for the next episode is Mr. Chi Fei from Unicorn Company.
We agreed to take the photos of cover and inside pages, but he suddenly told us that he went abroad. He'll be back after a month. If we can't take photos today, our next magazine cover is blank. Enough. Stop complaining. Hurry up. Hello, Mr. Yuan. You are out of town? Fine. It's okay. Let's have dinner together when you're back. Okay, bye. Is it bad luck? Why am I so unlucky? Come in. Miss Lin. It's you. I don't have time for other work. Come back later. I'm not here to talk about other work. I contacted someone for you. He told us to get ready. We can take photos when he comes. Who can you contact? It's none of your business. He's a big shot anyway. You'll know when he comes. I don't need to introduce him to you. Is he a big shot? Mr. Gu never gave interviews. Why are you today? Are you familiar with each other? Mr. Gu, no brother-in-law. We can't expose our relationship. That way, the boss will think I'm capable. Otherwise, she'll think I'm taking the back door. No problem. We're quite close. Xiao Jai recommended. Mr. Gu refused my invitation. A mere photographer made Mr. Gu give up his principles. Does Mr. Gu have other hobbies? He's quite talented. Besides, we are friends. Yes, friends. Friends. By the way, Mr. Gu took a long way to come here. Let's not waste time. Let's get started. Since you know each other so well, you can do it. Me? Really? Do you really believe in my ability? Even Mr. Gu admires you. You've helped the company a lot today. I should give you this chance. No problem. I'll complete the task. Mr. Gu, please. Three, two, one. Okay? Yes. Not bad. You are handsome. I didn't expect that, but his ability surprised me. Mr. Gu, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Lin, I'm done. You can interview Mr. Gu now. Mr. Gu, please follow me. Breaking news. The CEO of Gu's group can't carve. He covered up the secret for five years. Why are you looking at me like that? This isn't me. I saw Gu Yanqing's diagnosis from my aunt. It clearly states that he can't carve anymore. Say something. Let go of me. Who is that? He seems to be a reporter and wants to interview me. Lunatic. Reporter.
Miss Lin, you did say that. Impossible. When? Mr. Gu, I'm sure Mrs. Lin didn't mean to do it. She is so sad that day after dinner with you. So we went to a bar and had a drink and complained. But we ran into a reporter. Maybe he heard the conversation between us. He even followed Mrs. Lin. I drove him away. Miss Lin didn't mean to do it. It's true. I told you everything. Wu Yanchen? I'm sorry. I really didn't know this would happen. I promised you. It's okay, for now. It's just a rumor. By the way, did your magazine have social media? Yes. Since I'm here for an interview, why don't we give a response? My Mr. Gu. Huixin bought this too. Huixin? Why didn't you tell me that you bought something good? Are you afraid I'll ask you for it? I got it for free. I'm waiting to return it. Someone gave it to you? That man? That playboy around Gu Yancheng. He said this is company welfare and given it to me. Ridiculous. That shouldn't be company welfare. Gu Yansheng gave me the same one a few days ago. They should have bought it together. These men are good at saving time. It seems that... Shao Kai has feelings for you? Impossible. There's nothing between us. I was just saying, why are you so excited? It's as if you really have something. No. I just don't want to be contacted together with this playboy. Don't mention that boring person. Get to work. Huixin, I've been working all day. Can I take a break? Well done. Keep working. Love you. Kiss you. According to our reporter, Gu Yancheng, CEO of Gu Group, can't pick up the carving again. The reason is he had a car accident five years ago. This is too much. How can they simply expose others' privacy? Really? No. He's recovered. What are you doing? No, I have something to do. I have to go. You can just up and go. Fairy, why are you here? I saw the news. How could it be exposed? Where is Gu Yancheng? He didn't answer my call. He went out for something at noon. I sent him the news. He only replied me three words. I'll take it. So, since the boss has given the order, don't worry. Okay. I'll go back now. Mr. Gu, there's news reported that you've been hiding five years that you can't carve. Can you respond it? You're back. Why are you sleeping here? I was waiting for you. I fell asleep while waiting. I saw the news just now. There should be no problem. Yes, it's a big problem. What should we do? There will be no problem. If you are by my side. I... What can 
can I do for you? I'm hungry. That's the biggest problem. 